Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to find and delete stubborn application and games on your Windows 11 or 10 computer. So let's go on down to the Microsoft Store right here and open this up. Otherwise, you can just go to search and type in uh, Microsoft Store, and you should be able to see it right here. Now, once we have this open on the top, go to search and type in I O B I T I O B I T on installer. Just like this and go to this application this is great for uninstalling things that uh, just don't uninstall or you have to open up like a launcher or it doesn't show you the actual amount of data that you're going to be deleting and install this on your computer so it's got a 3.1 star but i do like this um there's just a bunch of pop-ups that happen sometimes so let's go ahead and open this up and go to all programs and select the things we want to go ahead and delete so i'm going to scroll through this you can see call of duty is actually showing up as 64 gigabytes might be a little bit more might be less but we can scroll on down and i'm going to delete multiple different applications here so i thought i saw ubisoft connect i was going to go ahead and just delete that that should be up here a little bit more here it is so let's go ahead and delete that then this my dvd content pack for some sort of like video editor i have on here uh corral i believe and then maybe i can get something else to delete so let's delete call of duty as well so we got three programs go to uninstall and then just uninstall all of them and you're going to see the progress here it says would you like to uninstall call of duty so it's going to open up on steam you don't really need to open it up in the third party applications or software or the launchers it's going to do everything on here it just takes a little bit of time for some reason to find all the the files and delete them um only bad thing about this program is it does come with a lot of bloatware and stuff so i uh, usually i un uninstall this program after i get done using it so once i delete everything from um, my computer i delete the program as well and then i just go ahead and delete it and get it back in the future if i ever need it so just try it out i obit on installer this seems like it gets rid of a lot of stuff that just kind of, you know, disappears on your computer when you go to uh, the Windows options for apps to uninstall things. Uh, seems like some things just don't appear on there. So you can just go to this and check it out. I like the IO bit on installer. It's a little bit better. But hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up.